bro, is this sad? I actually know every FNAF character on this list. Yeah, it's very sad. <laughs> yeah, it actually is extremely sad. <laughs> yeah, guys. You're sorry. a sad human being. Here, do you want me to just hold the mouse Yeah, then? sure, <laughs> honestly, at this point. Uh, hey, everyone, welcome. Are we actually recording? Yes. <laughs> I'm Please sorry. don't give me more stuff to edit. I've uh, only edited, like, three videos so far, so... I'm sorry. Alright, guys, we I legit can edit. And I've never edited audio. <laughs> it's simple. All you yeah, I, 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 edit. I can't. Oh, okay. Let's Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bond. Yeah, so he's going to go through I'm these all. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's rank the FNAF. Uh, by the uh, way, guys, we'll, we'll, we'll probably play FNAF on the channel at some point. Right? I'm yeah. I'm not going to be there for it. So yeah, let, yeah. let's start with my favorite we'll animatronic in the safe. entire series. Yeah? Fuck it. I love Foxy. Foxy. I don't know yeah. why. I just like Foxy. So you're a furry. No, 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 no. I like Fo I yeah, Foxy. We've already furry. established that he's a furry, and we accept yeah. Isaiah for who he is. And we accept you, Isaiah. All right. So I'm gonna consider. Are you gonna I put all the furries on? Should yes. I consider? Could I? Should I consider difficulty in the tier list? Actually, how hard they are he's to deal with. Already there. Like, there's already there. Why yes. The so the twice? Yeah. Sometimes they appear twice. So we consider difficulty. Should I consider difficulty in this, or just how much Sh I enjoy the characters? Just enjoy the characters. Well, then I enjoy a wall. No I'm joking. Um. My favorite, now my second favorite would be Mr. Hippo because I love his monologues when you die in Ultimate Custom Night. He literally sits there for like three minutes and tells you a story that's completely unrelated to the game. Uh -huh. He's like, yeah, I made, I'm, um, one time I told my friend, stop throwing, stop throwing, uh, bird crumbs at the birds because the birds are frozen. He's like, oh, maybe I thought the birds would enjoy them after they're unfrozen. And he says, the birds might be dead. <laughs> oh. It's, okay. it's my favorite one. <laughs> I don't understand that. Okay. You just you just don't understand. I yeah, guess design I can go in here too. So this is um, Chipper from Chipper and Sons. He's only in FNAF World. Uh, he's D tier because I don't like him. He's very boring. Yeah. And uh, not fun. Looks boring. He is boring actually, unironically. Um, who is this? Is this Molten Freddy? It is Molten Freddy. I look like a fucking nerd right now. Yep. I yeah. can't believe this. Totally a nerd. Uh, who's this? Oh, that's Scrap Baby too. I love Scrap Baby's design. Wow. I think it's, I think it's good amazing. for you. Scrap Baby is the, Baby is like the only human, one of the only humanoid animatronics. And ooh, sorry, I'm showing him a tier list that I just made. To me, okay. Right. These are heroes, right? Yeah. Well, well, personally, for me, what? I don't know what I'm doing. You uh, just need no, to but like, I like, I really like Scrap Baby's design. Um, I'm not. I don't remember what she does in Ultimate Custom, right? A lot of these characters do different things Same. they do in the game. Uh, Balloon Boy is I, annoying. I, only, I don't like Balloon Boy. I only know, you only know the original one ones? and two. And so you know who three. this is, right? That Eyeless Freddy. That's Golden Freddy. Yeah, Golden Freddy. The one Freddy. that yeah, shows yeah. up in FNAF 1 and if you run into yeah. him, he's back <laughs> in the game. Why would you fucking see this? Um, <laughs> Next one's going directly on you. But yeah, I really like Scrap Baby's design. I think it's it's yeah. like it's actually kind of terrifying because like it looks like a disheveled child. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> with can see its that. with its wires hanging out. Yeah. Um. Of course, we got you know the nightmare animatronics. I think all of them are really cool. Um, yeah. And who the heck? Oh, is this phantom? I think the phantom animatronics are some of the weakest ones in the series because they're not real and they're not actually there. But they're just kind of. Oh yeah, your phone, right? They're just kind of there. They don't have any real presence in the game. Mm. Honestly, I, I just I don't like them. I think I'd have to create their own tier, to be honest, because I just they they don't have any impact on the story. Um, they don't really alter the gameplay. They just mess around with like ventilation stuff, and you have to reset stuff. They're not really cool, because you know they all look the same. Yeah. Um, I I really just feel like in the first game, Scott. Um, was just like, yeah, th these look like actual animatronics, and then as he went on, he just was like, he just got high. I think I think the weakest one are the phantom ones, because um, once you get to four, that's when they start actually getting scary. Yeah. And then for, uh, do you know Ballora is seven feet? This one right here, Ballora is seven feet tall. I would not know that. No. Yeah, this is just stuff I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Ballora, mm. a lot of, um, the fun time animatronics have, uh, I, let's actually move some people up in here. So Golden Freddy, I'd say A tier. I like Golden Freddy a lot. 
Um, but, you know, I'm just so desensitized because he's not really important in any of the games anymore. He's kind of there in the first one, and then present in the second one, isn't there in the third or fourth one because he's replaced by Nightmare. Yeah. And then, like, war from a war standpoint, like, he's really important, but, like, I don't really have much of an attachment to Golden Freddy. Yeah. Although it is, it, is a creep, it is the creepiest one out of the original animatronics, I'll give it that. Sounds like a just a wheezing child. <laughs> Can you just go on? <laughs> just How about original Freddy? OG right, original Freddy. OG Freddy? Yeah. Um, I didn't actually like OG Freddy that much, to be honest. He was very slow and easy to avoid. Um, mm -hmm. you didn't see him much either. So he was kind of always just in the back of your head, not really doing anything. Um. How about I start with the first animatronic you're ever introduced to? Bonnie. So Bonnie always shows up on the left side of the door. Yeah. Um, from first night. I heard that this Bonnie is, is Scott's the, favorite. the scariest of um, the animatronics. Bonnie is the one that gave Scott was the scariest for Scott. Yeah. Um, I like Bonnie, but if we're just talking original game Bonnie, from a gameplay standpoint, he's not fun. From a lore standpoint, he's not very important either. I'd probably put him in C, to be honest. And I love how we're playing, doing this in the complete darkness. Yeah. <laughs> We've done all these two lists in the dark. Hell, so, uh, most of the videos. Can we can we get a... No, no, press the gear. And so, add uh, below. Add, below. Yeah. Alright, here you go. Um, can you type in just... Shit. Phantom? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, just put sh shits. Um, cool. I don't like any of the Phantom animatronics. Okay. I think they're all lame, I think they're all boring, and I just hate them so much. They're just cash grabs. They're, they're really boring. They don't do anything is the thing. I If they were like active threats in the game, I would care about them, but they're not. They're just there. You can't really avoid them, and you don't get you don't get a game over if you if you like get jump scared by them. Um, so, uh, do you... What? So, like, basically when it comes to these, these ones right here, if you get jump scared by them, you won't die. It basically okay. makes it so that spring trap is easier to get to you. So, oh. like, you'll have a hard time breathing, or you'll pass out, or the cameras will stop working, or the audio to lure spring trap will um, stop working. Okay. And that's really the only thing these things do. They make you reset the, uh... So they're like ghosts? They're ghosts. Essentially. They're ghosts, but they don't do anything, really. Oh, so they can't hurt you for that They can't reason. hurt you. They can't call... If you if you get scared by these characters, you will not get a game over. Okay. That's why I don't like them that much. They don't like... Is that... That's Nightmare Mangle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Nightmare Balloon Boy. Nightmare Chica. Nightmare, uh... Freddy. Freddy. Nightmare... I don't uh, know what that one is. Phantom, they're not nightmares. That's a uh, marionette. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like it. So yeah, and since we're talking about FNAF 3, where is Spring Threat? The original Spring Trap, I did not like. He was goofy. He looked dumb when he came on the screen. Uh, if you look to his animations, he <laughs> they didn't bother to animate his legs because <laughs> you'd never see his legs. Yeah. So if you look at the animation an animation of the model, it's just his arms moving and his head moving. Yeah. Um, but he was never really scary. Mm -hmm. um, I never got scared. FNAF 3 is the one game that I never got scared watching and I could actually play. Yeah. Like, I was never scared of the jump scares in FNAF 3. Um, <laughs> you're like, I don't know. This is dumb. This is um, mistake. ooh, ooh. Withered Fred, Wid Withered Foxy is a P S tier. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. He's different, like, um, from a gameplay point, uh, you, you know about how FNAF 2 plays, right? With the mask and stuff, and you put masks on, and they won't attack FNAF you. FNAF 2, yeah. Yeah, so this, uh, this one, uh, Withered Foxy is the only one who doesn't work with the mask, and him, along with, what, Mangle? Yeah. Um, like, Mangle is cool, because Mangle is always hanging from the ceiling, and or is in the vents. Like, when you see yeah. Mangle, you're like... Is that? It's like I don't know why I'm not a furry, but <laughs> I really like the way that they handled Foxy and like Fox the Foxy esque ones. Um, I just thought they looked really menacing. Um, they had huge, like their mouths were huge. Well, not the original Foxy, but like everything after from FNAF 2 and yeah, 
peons was yes. pretty like unrealistic when it came to the size of them, their um, mouths. So I always felt like those ones would be threatening. Yeah. Mind you, oh, when I was a kid, I had a fear of, all right, of uh, the the, ch the dude who came out in the Chucky costume from Chucky e. Cheeses. Yeah. Like I would I would hide up in the little play area yeah. and wait till he left. Yeah. And then leave the play area. He, like even even when I got older, I was like I was like, dude, this was freaking creepy. Like what the fuck? And then they came out with a new design, and I'm okay with that one. But I don't know. There's some like. I, I always hated fear. the actual animatronics. The animatronics are pretty weird too. The weirdest one is the dude, the actual human, because he looks yeah. weird. Um, let's get some out of the way. The bitty babs, uh, bitty babs are pretty useless. I don't like them. Uh, no, we do. These aren't the bitty babs. These are the Melora ones, the ones that uh steal your oxygen. Wow, they're, that they're looks boring. really weird. They're not interesting at all. Old Man Consequences is from FNAF World. He's okay. He's not horrible. He has no relevance to the story, really, other than lore. If you don't you know, follow Matt Pat's game theories. Uh, Funtime Chica. It's a cool design. Let's say beats here. Um, original Chica. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Original Chica and Original Bonnie right here. Um, I feel like I'm just going at these as I am. I'm just picking at the ones I see and go, yep. Yeah. Um, I really like, uh, out of the original two, I definitely think out of the original ones, um, Golden Freddy was the scariest. My favorite was Foxy, and then Freddy, and then Bonnie and Chica I have tied, because I don't really, like, Chica is ugly, yeah. which is good, because <laughs> I don't need an over, <laughs> Laura not going to go there, I'm not going to say anything about that, I was just going to pretend I didn't say anything about that. Um... You know, but like, lore wise, he's a furry. Lore wise, Foxy, Bo Freddy, and Bonnie and Golden Freddy are all males, and Chica's supposed to be a female. Yeah. Does that look like a female to you? Okay. Kinda. No, not really. It's a chicken. It is a giant chicken. Yeah. I'm sure that's what he anticipated people would think. Uh, I like the puppet. I think the puppet's eight here. Puppet and Golden Freddy are pretty, uh, they're pretty unique for both their games. Mm -hmm. Puppet is annoying, because you'll be worried about anyone else in the game. That's the music that one, dumb right? music box! Yeah, that's... Always the music box. <laughs> um, you, you, I, I can actually, like, feel the piss, ooh, wait, like, is, madness. Hold on, what's this? Golden Golden Freddy. Is this Freddy. the original Golden Freddy from FNAF 1? That does Golden? not look like the original Freddy. I mean, Golden Freddy. I think that one is. I know one comes on the screen, and then there's the one where it just it's always on the screen constantly. I can't tell. I think they're both the same. I think this was one from FNAF 2, and this was the one from FNAF 1. They both basically do the same thing. Uh, uh, Candy Cadet is a S tier. <laughs> Candy Cadet is the best. Uh, right, right there with Mr. Hippo. They're some of the best animatronics just because they're amusing. Yeah. They're funny. Um, these guys are shit tier. They're just, they're just trashing game. They literally just make air horn noises the entire time while you're playing the game. Yeah. That is it. Nothing more. Nothing less. Um, toy animatronics since we're already covering FNAF 2. I didn't really like any of the toy animatronics to be honest. I always thought they were inferior to their original versions. Yeah. So I guess... I guess I could do this, because I don't think they're horrible, but I definitely wouldn't put them above their original, original ones, because they're, they're, they don't, I don't feel threatened when I look at these, you know? Yeah. Like, they look like plastic toys, <laughs> like, I'm yeah. not scared of toys. <laughs> um, it's the ones that are fleeced, the ones that, like, if you went up, if they were real, real and you went to go touch them, and you'd feel, like, the fur on them, that would freak me out. Yeah. Because then they're hu they're more humanoid. They look more realistic. Withered Freddy. Um, honestly, I'd say Withered Freddy's right with normal Freddy. Um, nah, I'd say it's he's above. Because I definitely like the way Withered Freddy looks more than I like yeah. the original. I'd say all the Withered ones, actually, 
are A tier, because I really loved all the Wizard designs. Like, you could really tell that they were, like, they were, um, you know, left to rot, and th that's yeah. when they look the scariest, because then that's when all their, like, wires and stuff are exposed. Mm -hmm. And, like, I have a fear of, like, I'm a pessimist, so, like, I, I would get afraid of, like, all the gears falling apart, and then, like, say I went to go pick my hand to, like, fix something, and then all the gears gave way, and, whoosh, and it would, like, just chop off my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm paying attention. Yes, you are. Um, Do you Scott Coffin? Do Scott? Himself. Scott? Uh, Scott's cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> if Scott from FNAF World is probably C tier. He's not horrible. Um, Scott is supposed to be a satirical joke character in the game. Yeah. So he makes fun of himself while he's yeah. in the game. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he's like, oh yeah, people just wanted me to keep pumping out these games, you know, I've had enough. Um, so he runs off. So he just, he's the final, he's, he's the final boss. There's actually a true oh. final boss, but we don't talk about that. Yeah. Um, you want me to do, where should I go from here? Uh, like, just I don't do know. them in order. Let's do them more. So Ballora is a seven foot tall Amazon woman who does ballet. And I think it has voice recognition. All of the ones from Sister Location have um, a link to a database of all the criminals. Oh. Um, and they're all specifically designed for like weird things. I think Ballora has voice mimicry, so it can mimic the voice of anyone. Okay. Um, this picture does not do Ballora justice. Yeah. I see. Do I put Ballora in B tier? I think Ballora is one of the weaker characters in Sister Location. I think the best character by far in that game is probably. Oh, would it be Baby? Or yeah, I think it'd be Baby would be the best character in that one. Ballora is probably probably somewhere in B and A. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd put her in B because yeah. I don't like Ballora more than I like the puppet. Mm -hmm. Uh, JJ's trash. Stupid JJ. JJ is not important. Thank I don't you, think. JJ. Although she's, although it is fun to watch JJ in a, of the custom night. Uh, Nightmare animatronics are amazing. I love them all. Um, they're just like the withered ones, really. And unlike, see, unlike, I'm inclined to put this Foxy in S tier because I love Foxy, but Nightmare Foxy just isn't that scary. Because that one, yeah, Nightmare Foxy is the one you go to the closet, you check, open the door, and if the and if it's not there, it's a little stuffed animal, and if it's there, it's sticking its head out. I'd say, actually, I'd put these two there because you're you're like never gonna get scared by these two. These two are the ones that you actually have to worry about. Yeah. If you're dumb, you can like get killed by Fo Nightmare Foxy, but if you're smart, you're not. Yeah. Um, Nightmare Fredbear is. Nightmare Fredbear Nightmare Fredbear takes place in what? Night 6. He replaces all the characters from the original fourth game. <sighs> Honestly, I'd say Nightmare and Nightmare Fredbear are both S tier for me. I definitely like Nightmare more than I like Nightmare Fredbear. Mm -hmm. But they're both really good. Because uh, what they do is they take the spot of all the other ones so like when you get to these hard difficulties so like when you start the game Nightmare Freddy is um, kept in check by the Nightmare Freddles on the back of your bed yeah when you get to uh, night seven and six and seven it's just replaced with a giant head of uh, Nightmare and Nightmare Fredbear yeah. Nightmare is definitely the harder of the two but yeah I'd say that uh, Plus Trap is a throwaway character to be honest Halloween Chica and Halloween Bonnie. Ah, uh, I do I? I have no. Okay, so in Ultimate Custom Night, I think Nightmare Chica is amazing. The voice acting in it is great. Um, you get a lot of stuff from it. I'd say Nightmare Bonnie is definitely the weaker of the two. Um, yeah, Nightmare Annette. I guess S tier, because I do like I do like the marionette. 
And he does the same thing that um, Nightmare and Nightmare Fredbear do. Uh, Nightmare Mangle is right there next to Foxy. They are literally the same character reskin. But one of them looks scarier. I can let you guys can choose which one that is. Nightmare Balloon Boy. Better than normal Balloon Boy. He's a throwaway character like Cross Trap, though. Yeah. Um. Fuck this character. Baby is terrifying. Baby is one of the few humanoid animatronics. Did you know Baby has a compa compartment to hold you captive inside its stomach? Literally uh, designed to cap to hold a small child in its stomach. Oh. I just thought you. I, I, I bet there's part of that. It literally scoops a child and puts it in its stomach. Nightmare Freddy, my uh, Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy are boring. I don't like them. They're definitely they're yeah. That, that that's right where they are actually. And this, I think this is Bon Bon. Yes, that's the character's name, Bon Bon. We're actually getting through this relatively quick. Yeah. Phone guy. He's important, I guess. I got. I mean, phone guy is Scott Cawthon. Yeah. Uh, entered A tier. Yep, entered his A tier. He's not as good as Baby. Only in such a location. He's better in. Uh, these are the bitty bats. Uh, fuck the bitty bats. <laughs> uh, Wolbit is also garbage. I think they are Thunderbabs. They are also garbage. All those characters do the same thing. Lulbit, you have to type in, like, I think a lull on the keyboard. Um, and the oh. Bitty Babs and the Thunder Babs zap your air and your power away. Endo, I think Endo is really cool. I wish they explored more of him. I, I always thought, I, you're like, I don't care about FNAF lore. Well, I'm going to tell you about FNAF lore. So I always thought Endo was the other half of Freddy, Golden, the Golden Freddy. Because Golden Freddy is just the uh, outside with no endoskeleton. Endosca Endo is just the endoskeleton with no outside. So I always thought the two of these characters were connected. And i disappointed that we never got to know more about it through the lore and stuff. Uh huh. Yep. Mm. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. These characters are all throwaway characters right here. It's weird. So. I don't like any of these characters, actually. Okay. I, I think the Misfit crew are one of the most underwhelming, un... just forget, most, like, forgettable characters you can have in the series. Like, nobody remember. they were only in one game and they didn't get they weren't added. Um, I, there's not really much. See, it, it's weird, because Mr. Hippo is one of these characters, but, like, Mr. Hippo has that long monologue that he always has in the end of every death that, you know, keeps him relevant. Yeah. But these don't. Rockstar Rockstar Foxy is going off straight up into S tier. He talks like a pirate dude. Yeah. I, I don't know what else I can say. He uh -huh. you just click on me, he's like, Yar, yeah. be bird. Yeah. <laughs> um Ooh, this is El Chippo. He's C tier because he's funny. Okay. Um Rockstar Freddy uh, the Rockstar Animatronics. I think those are them. So, unlike Foxy, I don't remember these guys. I think they're just... They're mostly... Like, it's it sucks, because a lot of these characters fall in the shadow of the other versions of themselves. Um, so they fall short of stuff. Um, Music Man. C2. Alright, so these are the... Man, get out of here. DD, JJ. Literally just a bunch of letters. I wish this was more updated. If it had glitch trap and like Dreadbear, I'd be cool. That'd be cooler. These characters are. I, I don't actually know. It's so dark on this screen. I think this is supposed to be Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie, who were never explored. So basically, that leads the best, in my opinion. Um. I think this is also Scrap Baby. I can't. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Now, this is Scrap Baby. And this is Phantom Foxy. Who's trash. Because, again, he's a phantom animatronic and they suck. 
They're horrible. I hate them. Yeah. They add nothing. Did, did you get those confused? Yes. Look, it's how, hard to how see. How did you get those confused? They look nothing alike. From a distance, Matt, you they don't see. They look different. See, so this they one, literally. this one has an eye patch, but I thought that was hair, the hair of a child, because I know that uh, the wiring around uh, Scrap Baby's face so, is pretty much non-existent. So you got this guy in this thing confused. Well, no, because if you look at the images, like of like Scrap Baby, um, like there's a lot of like the lighting doesn't show her full face. Cause can you see you see how like disheveled that one eye is like the rims right around from where the outside are aren't there really yeah, yeah. so with the eye patch i thought it was just uh her facing towards like the camera i have her face covered in the shadows yeah so that's why i got the two mixed up that's why when i saw that scrap baby on here and i was like wait wasn't scrap baby on here i had to take a closer look and it was just not and it turns out the entire time it was just freaking nightmare Foxy. okay um yeah, we're almost done yeah i see that uh i love molten freddy cool molten freddy is amazing I love its design. I I love the voice they use for it. I love the lore behind it. Um, this spring trap. See this character right here. This character. Yeah. Same character. This character. <laughs> immensely better than this one. He's he's actually terrifying. He's got you know his design is amazing. I love it. You know you can actually see like the skull coming out of the withered fox. Uh, the withered. You know animatronic. It's all disheveled. The um, its teeth are there. It's so gross, and I love it. And then we got the. Who the fuck are you again? Oh, I remember. I remember. So this is Lefty. Okay. Lefty only appears in FNAF. Help one. Or no, no wait. This piece of simulator. Last the, the last one canonically in the timeline. Yeah. Um. It's supposed to be a specially designed uh, animatronic to capture the puppet. Yeah. Um, it's not important. Like, it's important story-wise. It's not threatening enough for me to put it in anything higher than this. I'd be. I'd say B. Mm -hmm. Definitely not anywhere high enough for me to put it in B. So yeah, if you could... You just put it in B. Anywhere higher than B. I'm not oh. putting it anywhere higher than B. Um, okay. So yeah, that that's my tier list of yeah. FNAF animatronics. I yes. hope I hope this was somewhat entertaining for uh, you guys. Yeah. Um, well, I hope so too. You could tell I really like Foxy's. Yep. I, I'm not a furry. I just like Foxy's design. You're a furry. I'm not a furry. It's okay, Isaiah. We accept you. But I say, for, I think Scrap Baby is my favorite animatronic. I just, I love the way Scrap Baby looks. Alright. Okay, you love babies, jeez. What? You'll be seeing a lot more. Guys, look in the at Mario Code 8, uh, episode 5, the Eschens. That, that episode, you you oh. know the true Isaiah. But, you find the, out the did, true I pick Isaiah. Baby did I pick Baby Daisy? Yes. You talk See about you Baby guys Daisy. Next time.